What's going on guys, Myth of Misfortune here again today with another anime review for you and it is the Owari no Sephira series. Going to go ahead and jump head in first into this story. So basically our protagonist in Yuichi is orphaned and right at the end of the world he's living in, in an orphanage with his makeshift brothers, sisters or the other orphans in the orphanage. And then, you know, the end of the world happens and vampires take over out of nowhere because apparently they just threw in there and said, hey, guess what? Vampires exist. And apocalypse, dick, uh, human enslavement. It might, actually, if I had to accurately say it, I would say uh, Attack on Titan met the Matrix and said, let's make a story. That sounds like a cool synopsis to me. But, um, so, of course, you know, bad. Now, I'm not going to spoil too much for anything for anybody that hasn't watched Oari no Sephira. If you haven't, again, go watch it. I think it might, if you watch it, the review will help you out a little bit. But also, this is supposed to tell you, you know, do I want to watch it? Do I not want to watch it? So, let's just continue on. But, um, basically, what. When we go from here for Yuichi and his rest of his family, uh, crap hits the fan, and basically, you know, he has to. Man, this is hard without spoiling too much for you guys, but uh, he has to go on, you know, plot revenge against the vampires, and that's where our story begins. Now, Yuichi really develops kind of fast for you to. Enjoy it is there a word I guess that would be proper for this because he goes from the first four episodes in season one of basically basically being Aaron Yeager to I have family again and it's this it's this whole transition that you see that yeah you can you can make sense of it you can see how it happened it's just it happens so fast when with such a heated hate for vampires, this is just like, wow, you really got rid of it by like episode four. And it just, it more so just goes along the lines of, well, no, I might not be, I might be wrong about that. It might not be episode four. I want to say more so, basically it's like halfway in, in, in the season for sure. For sure, but again, just the way that they present the hatred is just, it's mind-boggling that it happened so fast a little bit. You're not upset about it, because then you don't have to deal with a lot of the brooding, and you can actually get other character development and actual character development with other characters for you, between, you know, Shinoa, Yoichi, Kimizuki, and the other girl. I'm sorry, I don't remember her name right now off the top of my head, guys. Um, and also just 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 personally saying, she has a very cute cutesy personality. Yes, she's very experienced as far as the field is concerned. Just didn't really like her character. Her character, I like her rivalry with Shinoa. That's kind of funny. But outside of that, there's there's really nothing for her there. She probably would be the first one to I don't know probably make a big difference as far as like character development for Yuichi but maybe not it's you have to watch the series for that I might have given a little bit away on that one but you know when you see Yuichi connect with each of them in season one you start seeing okay this is progress this is for the characters and it's nice. It's it's nice bits and pieces to the story that's tantalizing enough for you to want to get to know the characters. Because even though we know what the main story is, they say, hey guys, here's the story. We're already here. No matter what they're doing, it progresses the main story. But let's let, let's do these little side things here and there. Let's get to know let's get to know our characters. Here they are. They're getting to know each other. Don't you love them more now? And 
yeah, you kind of end up doing that by at least the end of season one. And with all of that, you really appreciate the depth that they try to go for in season one. It's a little bit, it, yes, it's, it, it's true to the manga, but it kind of pushes things to the side a little bit where you're looking for more action when you thought it was going to be there. Then when you get into season two, a lot more of the action that you thought was going to be there is there. But then when you thought of more character development at certain points, it wasn't there. So literally, they season one and season two flip-flop on problems. But the perfect thing about both of them is is basically because of the fact they they are progression of each other. And yes, they have the flip-flop problems and strengths of each other. They also complement each other as a series to we get the progression that we want and need to go forward and keep continuing to watch it of course this is one of those animes where because of the fact you are going to compare it to Aaron Yeager you have to sit there and really think to yourself you know am I going to continue to watch this am I not going to continue to watch this because it goes back to that cookie cutter thing where you'll be like well I've seen this before and I kind of like it better over here and stuff like that you know what I mean but you have to really find it in your heart to continue to watch things like that that's where your own by your own opinion comes into play for a lot of these you know as I said before in a previous uh anime review I try to be as unbiased as possible with these because in Asterix War I know I said Go ahead and like, you know, watch it when you can. Because it really is one of those animes. But personally, I, I like that type of story, you know. It's really cool. The powers are interesting. I'm going to continue to watch it. I would, uh, personally, biasly speaking, I would tell you to continue, keep watching it. Well, go watch it. Unbiasedly, though, it's not for everybody. Just like Awari no Sephira. Awari no Sephira, I like it over, you know, Aaron Yeager. But... You know, it may it may be the opposite for some, or for some it might be like might be like, well, I don't even want to give it a shot because it is like Aaron Yeager. And it, again, you know, that's like your own opinion, and honestly, you're not wrong for it. You can't be wrong for your opinion. Oari no Sephira is really really good, you know, and. Actually, I want to touch up on that cookie cutter thing for you guys because I felt like I didn't explain it well when I talked about it in No Cavalry. Uh, again, cookie cutter is where you have a similar anime to the point that, you know, it's, it's literally the same story if you break it down to the basics of the story, you know, boy meets girl, stuff like that. But I kind of left some very important information out for you guys that will help you out instead of just be calling everything cookie cutter because, well, most anime could come off that way. But... Cookie cutter is to the point where literally if you take boy meets girl and you can literally like if you've watched a previous anime like I'm talking about it with Awari no Sephira actually and can literally place well let's see Yoichi can be replaced with Eren and this character can be replaced with this character this character can be replaced with this character and we literally still have the same exact story like nothing would really change. Even if you kept the same characters, kept their same personalities, and just put them in this story situation, it, if you can still say this is still the exact same story, yeah, it's cookie cutter. For, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people have compared Asterix War and No Cavalry as cookie cutter as well. You know, I'm a, we got a princess over here, we got a princess over there, she has firepower, she has firepower, I'm doing this to give help my country and my friends, I'm doing this to help my country and my friends, I like the main character, I like the main character, and, you know, when, when you have something like that, where you can literally just interchange characters from other animes with the story that you're currently watching, that's more so cookie cutter, and again, going back to the whole thing where, yeah, you can't, you can somewhat do that with Attack on Titan in placing them in Owari no Sephira. And would you get the same story? Maybe. I'm going to say a strong maybe only because uh, Eren didn't go through the same traumatic situation that Yuichi did to 
to you know get where he was at but at the same time the opposite is also true and then you know it, it it's it's more so like i said it you it's a strong maybe that you'd get that same story with with Aaron in Owari no Sephra. Overall, guys, Owari no Sephra from season one to season two, the series overall gets a nice three point five out of five for me. Uh season one would would get a three. Season two gets gets to three point five by itself. Season two is really where it's at, really picks it up. Uh but overall, guys, I would personally say to go out and watch it. Make the decision for yourself. This is one of those ones where I tell you to actually test it. Test the first two episodes first. If you don't like it, you don't like it. This is one of those test animes. But I know because I know a lot, a lot of people want to waste that much time. You know, that's that basically an hour of your life. If you watch two episodes, that's a, that's a good test to me. Some people can watch one episode and decide whether or not they're going to like it. I, I honestly say to give an anime a fair chance, you need the first two episodes. And go out and watch it again. Owari no Sephora gets a 3.5 from me overall. And I just, I can't, I can't tell you guys not to go watch it. I can't. It's just, it, it, it's a very interesting anime. There's nothing really about it that I can say that, no, don't go watch it or, well, I mean, if you got the time, or really, guys, it's a it's a really nice anime. It's nicely animated. The story story is done greatly to me. There's not a lot sidetracking you from what the main story is. The main story is always in your face. And like that, guys, that concludes this uh, anime review. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see any other anime reviews from me, or if you have a specific anime you want me to review. Let me know what you think about my opinion on Awari no Sephir. Do you agree or disagree? Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you dislike it. I'll see y'all in the future for more anime reviews. And like always, until next time, I'll see y'all next time.